I know that there are so many different opinions and styles and usage cases, but there is no doubt in my mind that this combination of the DigiRig and the TX500 or the DigiRig and some other radio will definitely appeal to a lot of ham operators out there. I'm not really good at screen captures and that sort of thing, so I'm gonna do my best here. You're probably here right now doing your research for you, your style and your particular radio. I chose the 1.6. You choose the board that's right for you. Follow the instructions on the DigiRig site. Follow the instructions on the Lab 599 site. Watch these videos, and I'm sure that you'll find a way to get this product to work for you. Once you get it put together the way you want it to work and get it tweaked the way you want it tweaked, and of course, depending on your radio, you will have cat control and audio in one neat little package. So if you take a look at the screen, I just uh, pressed uh, 160 meters, which I don't have an antenna for. There's 40 meters and you should be able to see it change right there. And 20 meters. And my antenna is tuned right now for 40 meters. And you, maybe you can hear the, let me get this a little closer. Let's put out the key here and see if we can uh, get a contact. So there you have it. It all came together and I have learned a little bit more about digital modes. This combination of the DigiRig and the Discovery TX500 has produced a full spectrum of potential contacts and several of them have gone down into the log. Thanks guys for dropping by and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.